Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, the first of a series of sales of the annual wine of sales conducted here in Hamilton. The first week of Wiener sales has come to a conclusion in Hamilton uh, with um, close on 13,000 being offered uh, and that's about 7,000 Angus steers and, and uh, 6,000 uh, Hereford steers. Uh, Robert Pike joined me from the Associated Agents. Um, Robert, uh, how did you view the market uh, from way to go? Uh, you've seen it all every day this week and, uh, and you know, you, you've had a few uh, expectations too at the same time. Yeah, leading into the sales, we uh, thought that most steers would make 160 to 75. I think you find that most of those uh, values have been a bit on the conservative side. They've made more than that, with an emphasis on heavy calves that are EU accredited and have been well weaned. Yeah, so uh, the, the rate that finally finished up the wash up for the week, generally speaking? Um, significantly less than last year obviously, uh, most calves would be 45 cents less than last year, um, the heavy calves have sold well in comparison to the smaller lighter weight calves, uh, we've lacked New South Wales and Riverina competition which has had a big impact on those lighter calves and they seem extremely cheap. Yeah, now uh, when, when we dissect the market uh, the EU credited cattle have made basically a dollar eighty to uh, the top of 204 which is uh, quite outstanding money and a, and a pretty broad premium um, over, over the non EU accredited cattle. Uh, yeah look they've made quite a lot more like 10 to 15 cents in most cases and uh, Obviously, the, the heavier calves, the better results. Yeah. The, uh, the, the medium weight cattle were sort of in and out a bit, depending uh, on where you were? Yeah, in and out. Uh, breeding and the bigger lines obviously uh, had, a, had a significant uh, impact on the price. Um, the, the lighter calves, if they were in smaller lots and were a slightly off type, really struggle. Yeah, and, and when you say that, they were back into the $1.55s and uh, $1.65s. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Anywhere between a dollar fifty-five and a dollar sixty-five. Yeah. Now uh, you, you mentioned before the lack of the volume buying. You know, what influence did you really see that on the lighter in calves? Um, in, in normal years, you know, obviously as you get back in your weights, your price significantly increases. Uh, that definitely wasn't the case this year, and you've got more money for your heavier calves than what you have the calves at the back end. Yeah, in, in cents per kilogram. In cents per kilo, yeah. yeah. And, it, and it's a long time since we've seen uh, lightweight steers, uh, middle 350s to 450s. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. It's, and, and, you know, looking at, looking at a lot of those calves, they seem very good buying, but it's just a matter of where they go. You yeah. know, we're, we're just a bit short on the ground for buyers and it's, it's the only year that I can remember where you got to stand in front of a pen of calves and you didn't have to work your way into the front row, you know, there was only ever one or two people there having a go. Yeah, now uh, while Hamilton uh, uh, offered four days here, uh, Cat Casterton went with three smaller sales and we saw a glimpse of heifers over there uh, which wasn't startling. Uh, the heifer market looks like it's going to be tough enough for next week, we've got uh, heifers on Wednesday and Thursday and then again at Casterton on Friday so there'll be a big week of heifers here next week. And. Uh, they look uh, like they're going to struggle and anyone that wishes to get into the heifer market I suggest they get down here next week. Yeah. Okay Robert, well thanks for the wrap up and I uh, wish you well next week selling those heifers. Thanks very much Barry.